Hello dear students, hope you are all doing fine. In this video, we will dive into the chemistry of acids and understand their nature. So let us get started. Dear students, if a substance gives or donates as positive ions in an aqueous solution, the substance is said to be an acid. These H positive ions cannot remain in the solution on their own because they are very unstable. Instead, they combine with water to form hydro hydronium ions that is H3O positive. Now, the acids we see can be either organic or mineral acids. Organic acids such as acetic acid, lactic acid, homic acid or weak acids because they do not provide a high concentration of H positive ions. At the same time, you will see an equilibrium between an organic acid and its ions. The ionization of organic acids is a reversible process, which means that the H positive ions can recombine with a charged ion to form the original acid molecule. Thus, their solution contains both ions and molecules. On the other hand, Mineral acids such as sulfuric acid, nitric acid, hydrochloric acid are strong acids because they completely ionize in their aqueous solutions. As there is no equilibrium, the chances of their ions recombining are very minimal. So the reaction goes only one way. But here is something very interesting. Carbonic acid, that is H2CO3, is a weak mineral acid. This is because it is very unstable and quickly breaks into water and carbon dioxide. Dear students, we know that acids release H positive ions in their aqueous solution. But, different acids release different number of hydrogen ions. Depending on the number of hydrogen ions released, we categorize them as monobasic, releasing one H positive ion, dibasic, releasing two H positive ions, and tribasic, releasing three H positive ions. So, the basicity of acids refers to the number of ionizable hydrogen ions in one molecule. Let us look at some examples. HCl, also known as hydrochloric acid, is monobasic because it releases one hydrogen ion in an aqueous solution. Nitric acid is also monobasic. Sulfuric acid is dibasic because each molecule donates and forms two hydrogen ions. Now, acetic acid might seem like it has four hydrogen ions, but that is not correct. Oxygen is very electronegative and tends to gain electrons. In acetic acid, only one hydrogen is directly attached to an oxygen atom. And the oxygen takes the electron from this hydrogen atom to form one hydrogen ion. Therefore, acetic acid is monobasic. Phosphorus acid, also known as H3PO3, has only two hydrogen atoms attached to an oxygen atom in its structure. 
oxygen takes electrons from both hydrogen atoms forming two hydrogen ions this makes phosphorus acid di base dear students so far we have discussed that acids are substances that release as positive ions or form hydronium ions now let us understand the role of water in the dissociation of acids when we take 1 to 2 grams of nacl and add some concentrated sulfuric acid to it it forms sodium hydrogen sulfate and hydrogen chloride gas that is hcl we know hcl is an acid but does it behave as an acid in its gas form well we know acid is form as positive ions in water when we test hcl gas with dry litmus paper it does not turn red meaning that hcl gas is not an acid however when we test it with wet litmus paper it turns red because hcl dissociates and forms hydronium ion this happens because water is polar oxygen being electronegative has a negative charge and attracts the h positive ion from hcl forming hydronium ion now let us discuss and understand the preparation of acids acids can be prepared from non metals for example cl2 reacts with h2 to form hydrochloric acid acids can also be obtained from non metal oxides like co2 so3 so2 and no2 for example co2 reacts with water to form carbonic acid that is h2co3 so3 which is sulfur trioxide reacts with water to form sulfuric acid sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form sulfurous acid similarly no2 which is nitrogen dioxide reacts with water to form nitric acid and nitrous acid acids can also be obtained by oxidation of non metals for example nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent it reacts with sulfur to form sulfuric acid along with the formation of water and nitrogen dioxide dear students let us now understand the chemical properties of acids acids react with metals to form metal salts and release hydrogen gas for example when magnesium reacts with hcl it forms magnesium chloride and hydro hydrogen gas the reactivity series of metals towards acids decreases from sodium to platinum you can remember this series with the mnemonic please send cats monkeys and zebras in lovely houses cats make silver gold platinum dear students acids 
react with metal carbonates producing their respective salts water and carbon dioxide for example sulfuric acid reacts with magnesium carbonate to form magnesium sulfate water and carbon dioxide number 3 reaction of acids with sulfites when metal sulfites like sodium sulfite react with dilute sulfuric acid they produce salt na2so4 which is sodium sulfate sulfur dioxide and water acid is further react with bases in neutralization reaction forming salts and water for example hcl reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water dear students i hope this explanation helps you better understand acids if you have more topics you had like to explore please leave your comments below Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel as we continue learning together. See you in the next video.